We've got a really neat story about Saints punter Thomas Morstead, and it's exclusive that you're only going to see here on News with a Twist. Yeah, the Saint had built a reputation for giving back to the community. He's been here on Twist talking about all of his charitable causes. And over the weekend, his wife and close friends gave him the surprise of a lifetime. Twist reporter Deepak Sani was there to catch it all. Thomas Morstead, he's one of the top punters in the NFL. Fans adore him, not just for his skills on the field, but for his commitment to the community. How do you thank someone who's given so much of himself to others? He has no clue. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Morstead thought he was going on stage at the Ferret Street Festival to promote his new nonprofit. Say who that? And, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what the foundation is. It's called WhatYouGiveWillGrow.com. But his wife and good friends had a few surprises up their sleeves. It's so hard to surprise him with anything, so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really exciting, and I, I can't wait to see how he reacts to everything. So I wanted to kind of thank Tom by showing him what he's done for our community. And we have a few people here that we've actually have to help show him that. Overcome by emotion. God dang. To see kids from the St. Baldrick's Foundation. How are you doing, sweetheart? Doing good. Right around the stage, another surprise awaits. And then I saw him and I kind of lost it because, you know, it's a big deal for him to make a trek somewhere, especially with the rain. He brought Rivers and, and Michelle and the whole crew. Even in the pouring rain, Steve Gleason wanted to show Morstead how much he loved him. But one surprise he never expected. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing? That's the wife of Morstead's college football coach at SMU, Frank Gans. The day after Thomas got drafted to the Saints, his beloved coach passed away. Huge mentor for me and at a time in my life when I'm still kind of maturing and developing. The coach would often tell him, what you give will grow. That's become the namesake for Morstead's foundation, encouraging others to pay it forward. He's leading by example. In the fall of 2013, Maddie was suffering from pediatric cancer. She desperately needed a bone marrow transplant. Thomas raised tens of thousands of dollars to get her treatment. Awesome, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Still soaking it all in. I've been duped in like multiple ways right now. Oh, it's okay, honey. Super, how old are you? Are you five? Or are you two? It's rare to capture the unique bond between the Gleasons and the Morsteads. Still get dry. I thought you were saying drunk. <laughs> Lauren Morstead is due in just weeks. The sex of the baby also a surprise. In a room filled with so much love, you can definitely see that making a difference comes full circle. We love you. We love you guys. All right, dude, come on, we gotta go. Great story. Yes, indeed. Yeah. He was really good friends with our Mike Tice and was at mm -hmm. the hospital with Mike and everything else. Been a good guy. Cool guy. Well, if you want to know more about Thomas Morstead's foundation, as Deepak told you, it's called What You Give Will Grow. Mm -hmm. We've got a link to it on our website, WGNO.com.